Hi everyone, Christina Miller here from the Community Foundation of Louisville. And today we have the pleasure of being here in New Albany at the Floyd Animal Rescue Shelter. Uh, folks, I'm sitting here with Joe and Kate who are gonna tell us a little bit about their mission as well as some furry friends, as you can see that are chilling with us today. <laughs> and the cuteness is overwhelming right now. <laughs> but yeah, Joe, Kate, just tell us a little bit about what you all do and your mission. Uh, the Floyd County Animal Rescue League has basically uh, three parts to our mission. One is to educate the public on responsible pet ownership. Uh, the second is to uh, reduce the number of unwanted animals. And third is to uh, assist the Floyd County Animal Shelter. All amazing goals, by the way. Love that. And now, how long have you guys uh, been uh, operating as a nonprofit and providing this kind of support? Since 1977. Yeah. Oh, 77. Since 1977. Yeah. Holy cow, that's amazing. <laughs> that just goes to show you just how long the work that they've been doing here, and especially for animals, little guys like these. So tell us a little bit about these kittens. Are is everyone adoptable? That these kittens aren't available yet. They're still a little bit too young, uh, but hopefully in the next few weeks they'll be going up for adoption. We've got Bree. Mozzarella and cheddar. Oh, I'm they're, holding cheddar. <laughs> they're a litter of five, so that they've got you know siblings in the back. Awesome. And do people just uh, get connected with you guys if they find you know animals mm -hmm. that need help or need foster care? How can people get connected to you guys to seek that support? So that really would be through the New Albany Animal Shelter. They're okay. the ones that would take in the animals, so people can contact them. Um, but we are here to help people in the community if they need help with getting their animals to the vet for urgent medical issues. And we can also help with spay neuter. That's a big part of our mission, is to reduce the number of unwanted animals. Um, and we also have a community cat program to get the community cats of the uh, Boy County and surrounding areas fixed. I love that. Well, and that's, again, that's all to the benefit of our community and the animals in our community. I myself also have a couple of rescues at home. Shout out to Lulu and Binks if they're watching. Um, <laughs> now, you guys have been participating in Gift for Good Louisville for quite a few years now. How many, how long has it been? Well, since 2017, we started. Awesome. It's grown for us year on year. People have always been very generous and we really do appreciate all the support that we get so we're hoping this year to raise five thousand dollars and that will really help us towards helping as many animals as we can in the community heck yeah so the folks they want to raise five thousand dollars okay this year they have continued to grow every year which is a testament to our community's generosity, mm -hmm. as well as folks getting connected, because that's what the Giving Day is really all about, yeah, sure. is helping people get connected to organizations um, who are local and who are doing the grassroots work mm -hmm. like you all are doing, especially for animals here in Floyd County. Mm -hmm. Now, we actually have, thanks to some generous uh, community partners, we do have a match pool mm -hmm. for our Floyd County organizations, meaning that folks, if you donate, to the Floyd County Animal Rescue League. Your donation will be matched dollar for dollar, okay? So meaning that your $10 donation can turn into $20 for you guys. And again, that's thanks to our Southern Indiana Floyd County partners. You can check out who those partners are at giftforgoodlouisville.org. But going back to your all's goals for the giving day. So we have we have a monetary goal of $5,000. Do you all hope to kind of reach a donor goal, like number of people that donate to your organization? If we could uh, get 100 donors, that would be awesome. 100 donors, I love it. <laughs> Throw it at me. And I mean, okay, I hate doing math in my head, but like 100 donors all donated 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Isn't that way surpassed your goal, like $10,000, right? Or yeah, maybe. <laughs> or is that a thousand dollars? That'll be a thousand dollars. Okay, clearly I don't do that well. Fifty dollars. There we go. There we go. If we had a hundred, get fifty. Then that would be ten thousand. <laughs> so that's one we'll put out there for you guys. Give fifty dollars if you can. <laughs> um, but no. Uh, is there anything really important that you hope that the community learns 
about you guys through this giving day and you know beyond um, just that we are here for the animals at Floyd County, both for the homeless animals at the animal shelter and also for companion animals. Um, people need help, but we do hope that they would reach out and ask for our help and we'll always try and be there. Um, and we also have different volunteer opportunities if people want to come and look after the cats that are up for adoption at Feeders Pet Supply on State Street. They are shelter animals, but they are looked after twice a day, seven days a week by our awesome volunteers. Um, we always need people to help us at our different off-site events. And we are also having a booth at Harvest Homecoming in New Albany uh, in October. So we're looking for volunteers to help at that booth. Um, and also people to bake dog biscuits for us because they're our best seller and we sell out every year. So that is awesome. Biscuits, uh, you can go to our website, it's floydcountyanimals.org and all the information is on there. Beautiful. And speaking of volunteers, we actually have Joe here's been a is telling me he's been a board member now for 10 years. Joe, tell us a little bit about your experience volunteering and really advocating um, for your organization and the animals you all serve. I actually started out volunteering, uh, taking care of cats at Feeder Supply. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and uh, at, at the time I, I went to uh, a friend of mine was a member of, Floyd, of, of F. Carl and uh, she invited me to our uh, one of our fundraisers which was our uh, pet lovers gala and okay. i went and really enjoyed my time there and you know, i was looking for a way to get involved yeah uh, more involved and then i saw in a, a newsletter that they were looking for board members and so i applied and i got in <laughs> I love that. and then a couple of years later i became i became treasurer i've been i've been doing that for probably eight years or so awesome awesome well but it's, it's been it's been very fulfilling and i mean these that's the thing though these organizations you can't operate without volunteer support and help and involvement and joe your story what i love about it it just shows how one you were looking for a way right to get involved and to help out a cause that you love like animals and just by one volunteer event then now turned into you know a decade of support through you know board support and volunteer support so gift for good louisville folks is your opportunity to follow kind of in joe's path by stepping into a volunteer or a donor role for an organization through the causes that you love. And you can check out the Floyd County Animal Rescue League who will be participating in Gift for Good Louisville on September 15th. You can make a donation to them as well as to other animal welfare organizations at giftforgoodlouisville.org. And until then, me and Cheddar here, we're just gonna vibe out. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs>